Hello. In this video, we're going to be looking at the programming and installation of the Seiko Wash Basic L. Now, this is a single product laundry dosing system. So let's first have a look at the kit that's supplied. As with all Seiko products, we have one of our fixing brackets with two fixing points, making it very, very stable on the wall. And that the unit simply clicks onto that bracket once it's installed. You also get about four meters of eight by 12 PVC for installation. And of course, the all important user manual. Looking at the unit itself, there are two ways to control the dosing, either by a signal from the washing machine, and a cable is supplied for that purpose, or you can trigger the dosing manually with the use of the push button on the side, or even a remote control unit that can be fixed to the port that's allocated for that at the back of the unit. So going through to the programming of the system, there is a three position button on the side. The first position at the bottom, if pressed and held, will prime the pump and then simply press again to stop the priming. When on, in the central position, that's the general operating mode once your programming is complete. And to program, press the switch to the top and it will go into standby mode. To enter the programming mode, press and hold the enter button for around four seconds. And this will be your password. By default, this is three zeros. So if we press again, it'll ask you to amend the password now we're into menu number one. Now this is the initial delay. This is the amount of time once the unit receives an instruction to dose before it actually doses. This is the dosing time. And to access this, you press the enter button and move it across. You've got a maximum here of 999 seconds. You can just increase that with the up arrow. Press again to stop all of the lights flashing and you can move on to the next menu. Number three, this is the lockout time in minutes. This is once the unit has dosed, the amount of time before it will accept another signal or instruction to dose. The next one is the trigger voltage. If you're using the signal trigger cable, you can here have it in the high position, so it'll only accept a signal between 115 and 240 volts, or in the low position, if you press enter, it will accept signals as low as 24 volts. Again, press enter to confirm and stop the unit flashing. So menu number five is the calibration function. So instead of entering the actual dosing time manually, you can calibrate by holding a graduated container, running the pump for a certain amount of seconds until you reach the desired amount, and then stopping the process. That will then enter the wash time or the, or the dose each time. You can do this by accessing the menu, making it flash, and then pressing the prime button. As I say, when you achieve the desired amount of chemical, you simply press. Once going back into the cal uh, menu by pressing the enter button, you can then move on. This is where you can reset the pin code if you wish. And this stage is very important. This will save your changes. So if you've entered any data, simply press enter and it will take you back to the standby menu and you're ready to go. So maintenance for the pump is very, very straightforward. It would generally come down to replacing the tube periodically, and that's a very simple process. Simply lift the screen, unhook the inlet connector, and remove the tube. And then simply to replace with the new tube, place it back on, run it around the rollers, and click back into position. 